right, so I have these two panels here today. The Harbor Freight 100 watt panel, which comes with legs and no charge controller with the Jackery Solar Saga 60, which is much smaller, but a little bit closer in price. The Harbor Freight panel is hundred bucks with no discounts. The Solar Saga panel is $180 off of all the sites. So I happened to get this one on an Amazon warehouse deal. So I paid about 130 before taxes, before theft. And uh, so that gets it closer in price range, but obviously still much more expensive per watt. So uh, the nominal wattage ratings, the Harbor Freight panels a dollar per watt. Solar Saga is $3 per watt. So obviously that's a big difference. The 100 watt Jackery panel is $300. So they actually maintain the same $3 per watt rating. And that seems to be just a different price league. That's just such a different price point. I wouldn't even see any comparison. Even these are not the best comparison, but the closest thing Jackery sells in that price. Okay, if you happen to be considering these two panels and you're watching this video, you might be. Here's a couple of other comparisons that you might want to consider. And one is this will not fold, so that is the size it always is. This is the size of the Solar Saga 60 unfolded, ready to operate. And, and there is the size of it folded. So obviously, if you're traveling, you don't have a truck or a big van, that might be an obvious <laughs> No brainer, if you just don't have the space, then that's, there it is. All right, so there you can see the size difference again. You know, if you have really limited space and you're gonna be sleeping in the same area that your panel might be, then maybe the softer edges are for you. You know, getting hit by this thing or rubbing up against that is a lot different than that. This is like a book binder. You guys remember book binders from the 90s? Heck yeah. Okay, so right away, I was really annoyed at these legs yeah, ironically for how light it is definitely do, still need two hands to set it up and this is all that's holding it together i really like these super simple highly simplistic legs on the harbor freight panel if you watch my other videos on this then you'll <laughs> have heard that before on this guy i don't care for these legs a little strappy guy. I don't know if that's plastic or what in them. I hope it is. If it's cardboard, then no, I'm just kidding. It's got to be plastic. Uh, I mean, it does retract really easy, but to get them out, you kind of need two hands. This one, you can just lean against yourself and just flip those legs out super quick. And they have a good uh, lean angle. Um, for lack of a better term, I made that up. This one is a little more constrained. It stands up more straight. So for irregular use, like once in a while, you know, once every couple months, once a year, camping or whatever, I'm sure that'll hold up for a while. But man, that is, that is just not super solid. Gonna make that uh, the Harbor Freight panel look like super sturdy. As annoying as it is to put these legs out, it's actually easy to get them reattach with the velcro once you fold it up and then it's super easy to pick up however you will need to put the cable away <laughs> to a not be yanking on this which doesn't seem super secure and then b just to not be dragging the cable around you can't unhook the charging cable that i can tell and like look that's already kind of pulled on okay so you'll definitely want to roll up the cable and zip it up every time you move it, which is not something I'm used to doing or needing to do. All right, one cool thing is you can charge other items. There's an LED indicator to indicate that it is getting sun. And then you can charge USB A or C, which is really cool. A lot of things are going to USB C. So I plugged in USB A to charge this battery bank that we used a bit on a trip we just got back from. There you can see it's charging up. Obviously the Harbor Freight has nothing like that. Uh, also, Harbor Freight needs a cable to get into the Jackery, an additional cable. This was uh, about $12, I think. Most of them seem to be around that $15 mark. You'll need that extra cable to convert this SAE on the Harbor Freight. 
to fit into a Jackery. This one comes with only the eight millimeter barrel style. So that might be limiting in a different way. You can't really plug that in to very many things, whereas an SAE, a lot of things have SAE. But you could also get an adapter to adapt that to other items as well. Another cool feature on the Jackery is that it has this little built-in baggy soft pouch to roll up the cable and slide in so it's really self-contained that's cool obviously there's nothing like that on a harbor freight but it does have a relatively short cable run for the built-in cable there so i don't know that's that big a deal but this one does for travel become completely self-contained that's pretty cool also this guy closes in on itself protecting the panels with two mag a magnetic clasp on each end so these go click and they're in oh uh, oh an onion hello so these clasp that's yeah you can hear it yep very cool all right have a good one